With a rise in the death toll from the mass shooting in El Paso comes a fierce sense of resiliency from the leaders of that city. Two of the patients died at a local medical center this morning, and KXAN's Steffi Lee is live with the latest on the city of El Paso and the nation's response. Steffi. Well, Robert and Sydney, we just received an update from El Paso police and the FBI within the last hour. Investigators have been working throughout the weekend and overnight to identify victims as well as notify families. Now, today, the police chief revealed the firearm used in the shooting was bought legally, and the suspect is still cooperating with investigators, volunteering a lot of information about evidence. The El Paso mayor confirmed President Trump will visit the city on Wednesday. He insisted, however, that it will not be a political visit, rather an opportunity to talk about federal resources for the city's recovery from this tragedy. I will not allow this evil census act of violence to change what our community represents. Now, in the meantime, the county commissioner's court held an emergency meeting to figure out the best way to quickly identify federal grants that can help families, witnesses, as well as first responders. And an update on the 27 people injured, nine have been released from the hospital. Two, however, remain in critical condition. Live in El Paso, Steffi Lee, KXAN News.